Hi, in this pretty generic video, what we're going to do is we're going to cover the topic of the steps you can expect to go through when you have a smart device, such as a wireless camera here that you're going to put onto your smartphone and the steps you would be expected to go through. The reason that I wanted to do this is rather than people thinking it's different for all the different products and the brands and that, it isn't. It's pretty well the same, okay? So let's just go through what you need to do. In terms of you, get, you go to your um, phone, you need to download the app, normally from the app store. Uh, I'm not even going to give the name of the thing um, in terms of different because it, it just doesn't matter. It's the app for your particular device which will be known to you. The next thing it's going to say to you, will you set up an account, which you say, I will. Okay, so you fill in your details, your email address, you get an email, you confirm it, that's it. Now some places are, are less strict on the, on the accounting, but, but that's basically the procedure. Uh, so now you have it set up in the thing and in terms of the limitations of what you can put on that app Some um, apps are strange that only let you put on a single device Other will let you put on multiple devices and some will actually let, let you put in multiple devices from different manufacturers, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to plug in a particular device that we have here And this is the hardware element of it so in, in preparation for what's coming next what I, I do is I have the app open I'm coming along um, I've the account set. I've downloaded the app. I've set up the account. I'm logged in. I want to add on the device. The device I want to add on is this camera here. And I have come along and I have uh, the phone set up in the local area network, as in the local router. And that's vitally important because by via the phone, via the phone, we're going to be setting this up to uh, both connect um, uh, to tie the phone to this, but by by the same token, we'll be tying it into the local area network, which is going to put this camera onto this. So if I'm in a, a far away, we're waiting, we're waiting for the thing. I'm waiting for a prompt to come along. And once I have that, hear that prompt, I'm going to use the barcode, the QR code that's come up on my phone here. I'm going to use that to tie these together. Okay. Now that's normally the most difficult. Um, so what we have to do here is we have to just wait and it's going to tell us that we're ready for this. So, um, as we, um, so what would happen then is we would have the QR code here and we would just come along and we'd hold So the QR code here, so it's going to pick up the QR code from this thing. So what we're trying to do is we're holding the right distance away so it'll actually come along and pick it up. Okay, so it's connected there now and um, so the device has been added. So what I'm saying there, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. It's seen it. The app is saying to it, has it come along? And what it's doing is it's set up in the Wi-Fi thing. And then we come along and uh, we'll save it with a particular name. You can give a nice, a friendly name, operation of the device. I'm just going through the rest of the menu here. It's done. And lo and behold, it's looking down here, and I can put my nice little hand in here as well, so you can see it. Okay, so that, that's good. So take about what we've done here. We've come along, put the app on the phone, we've set up the account, we've turned on the device. It said I'm ready to look for that QR code. We grab our phone, which is connected to the local router on the local Wi-Fi network. We come along, we do it, and all of a sudden it says, Okay, I'm paired with your app and I'm now on the local network because I pulled all the settings directly off of your phone. Because now if I took this phone and went to China, it'll still work on my local router because it has the, knows the name of the router, the password and uh, the username. So it's directly in there anyway. And that's it. And it's the same to do it again. Now there's things about uh, you can do a reset to take it off the device and all the rest of there. That's normally a reset button on the device thing itself. So overall, we'll say this is the same procedure. So if you bought another product from us and there's no installation video on it, you just say, hang on, fill in the blanks, the name of the app is, the name of the device is, and it'll work.